Hi, I'm Jo from JH Leather and in this box is the answer to the biggest issue that I have here in the workshop. Let me explain. So I have been in the leather craft industry for about 14 years now and one of the main things that I suffer with, and I think a lot of leather crafters probably suffer with this, is repetitive strain syndrome. Now for me this affects my elbow and I have had both golfers and tennis elbow and both of them have been as a result of doing the leather work that I do. So a few years ago, some of you may remember, I actually put a video out about how I had to reduce the amount of work that I was doing because of the effects that the repetitive strain was having on my elbow and just my overall health. Now, that has made great steps towards actually stopping the repetitive strain and I haven't suffered with it half as much as what I have done in the past. Now for me, the main movement for the issues that I was getting was actually when I was doing a lot of staining and polishing, which is where this new machine comes in. So you may be wondering why I have gone out and bought myself a bench grinder. However, this is not just any bench grinder. This is the Justwood Pro Leather Burnishing Bundle with drum sander and motor. Now there are two options available, the Hobby and the Pro. The one I have opted for here is the Pro, which features a handy work light and a slightly more powerful motor at 370 watts versus the 250 watts of the Hobby version. Now these are shipped worldwide and can be fitted with either a UK, an EU or an Australian plug fitting. Now they do run on 230 volt electricity so if you are in a country that runs on 110 volts like the USA then Just Wood can work with you to get the right grinder that can work with both their burnisher and their drum sander. Speaking of the burnisher this was designed with leather craft great Nigel Armitage and features seven different sized grooves for your leather work and they are not fully rounded which means they're not going to dome the edges of your leather work. And so I can give you a full review of this machine. What I'm gonna do is use it in the real world here in the workshop on my leatherwork project. And then I'm gonna get back to you in a few weeks time with my full thoughts and opinions. Now, full disclosure, whilst I did purchase this machine with my own money, Just Woods did give me a small discount and are the sponsors of this video. However, just to make it clear, they don't have a say in what I choose to put into this video and all my thoughts are my own and have been collected after using the burnishing bundle over the last few weeks in the workshop. So it has been a few weeks since I unpacked this little beast and I have now had a chance to use it a lot in the workshop. I'm ready to let you all know what my thoughts are on it and to help you decide if you need one for your own leather work. So overall, I absolutely love this machine and it has made a huge difference to my workflow and I don't think I could now be without it, especially when doing strap work like belts. And I have been using this for pretty much everything that I make and it has made a huge difference, especially to my repetitive strain. Now, when it came to the actual burnisher, I did actually have to get this to bed in a little bit before I got the lovely smooth edges that I wanted on my leather work. Now I did this by just using it over and over again to help smooth the fibres of the wood down. Now you could possibly use some fine grit sandpaper for this but you would have to be very careful so that you didn't change the shape of the bevels. And now that the burnisher has bedded in, it is absolutely brilliant and I love the results that I get on the edges of my leather work. A top tip for you, what I have actually been doing when I'm doing my final polish on my leather work is to actually add some beeswax to the burnisher and that gives a really great finish to my projects and I've been using that method on both large and small projects and I'm really happy with the results that I'm getting. Now one thing that you may have noticed is that this burnisher is now very dark with stain. So if you're going to be using more than one colour of stain then you're going to need to invest in more than one burnisher so that all your edges don't come out the same colour. I have just ordered another one for use on my lighter projects and I will be keeping this one here for the black and dark brown edges of my leather work. Now if you don't think you're going to be using the sander end of your machine then you could have a burnisher on each end so you don't need to keep swapping them out every time you have a different coloured project on. If you are going to be doing that you will need to ensure that you put the burnisher back on to the same side as it was originally so the wood fibres don't get agitated as they're going to be spun the wrong direction. When it comes to the drum sander, this was fitted with 100 grit sandpaper. Now I think that is a bit rough for what I am making, so when it needs to be replaced, I'll be purchasing the 180 grit option. 
But to start with, you can get around that by using some metal just to take the bite out of the paper so it won't take as much off of your leatherwork projects when you're using it. One thing that I am still getting used to is when using the sander on larger pieces of leather, I find it a little bit awkward to hold it nice and upright, but so long as you're very careful and you don't press the leather too hard into the sand and drum, you will be fine. And this is just gonna come with practice. Now, after some testing, if you are using the sander end, I find this easier to use if the drum is hanging over the edge of the bench, as it just makes it easier when sanding larger pieces of leather as the bench doesn't get in the way. When it came to fitting this machine in the workshop, as I run a lot of one-to-ones and do a lot of filming in here, I wanted it to be easily removed around the workshop. So I mounted mine to an old wooden board that I had here, and with the use of a G-clamp, I can pretty much mount it anywhere I want in the workshop. So all in all, this machine is a great addition to my workshop, and if you are making lots of strap work, like belts, leads, or bridles, or if you have repetitive strain injury, or you just really like machines, then I really highly recommend getting one. And like I said, Jess Woods do also offer the sanding drum and burnisher separately, along with some hand slickers and some beeswax. So I will be leaving links in the description to Jess Woods, where I got this machine from, and the team there are super helpful. So if you do have any questions at all about their machines or the attachments, just pop them an email. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos and tutorials. I shall see you in the next video. Done.